E3s about some sexy ass hardware, and I don't think we can get anything quite as sexy as a Razer laptop. Would I be correct, Kevin? Uh, I would. I would definitely say so. They pay me to say that. So, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> okay. Well, you're showing. You're here today to show us a couple of laptops, a few extra little doozits and gadgets you have on display here. Definitely. So, what? Let's run with it. What you got here? So, just announced a couple of weeks ago uh, in San Francisco at the Dolby Theater, we have a couple of all new gaming laptops. First one is the 14 inch Razer Blade and what it is in a single line is it's the world's thinnest gaming laptop. The thing is 0.66 inches thin, uh, weighs four pounds, it's thinner than a standing dime. I mean the thing is ridiculously, ridiculously small, uh, you know, weighs four pounds so it's real light and I mean it's not just portable, I mean this has the, you know, the full on chops of a traditional gaming laptop. Inside you're going to find an Intel i7 quad core CPU, that's a Haswell chip in there, uh, along with an NVIDIA GTX 765M GPU. Uh, so basically what that means is what we have here is the world's most powerful laptop in terms of power per cubic inch. Uh, beyond that, I mean it's designed totally for gaming, so it's got um, a fully anti-ghosted keyboard and an ultra-sensitive trackpad uh, that the gamers love. So, I mean, this is really the gaming laptop, we, we think, to uh, end all gaming laptops. How long have you guys been designing this for? Um, that's a good question. I mean, our, our design process is typically years. Uh, this one uh, has been in development for quite a while. We don't release anything at Razer until it's ready. Um, and this one, I mean, just looking at some of the finer points of this, I mean, even the USB ports, you can see there, they're razor green. Those cost seven times as much money to make than a traditional USB port. So we don't, we spare no expense with this laptop. It's, it's, it's really, you know, we don't leave anything out. Price-wise? Price-wise, it starts at $17.99. Um, so, yeah, price-wise, <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay, cool. Now, so we're moving along here. Sure. Obviously, we've got the bigger brother. Can you sort of elaborate on this as well? Definitely. So this is the third iteration of our 17-inch gaming laptop. This is now called the Razer Blade Pro. Um, and what it is is it's, uh, it's not only a gaming laptop. It's, you know, you work hard, you play hard. Uh, so this is an ultra-portable form factor. It's the thinnest and lightest 17-inch gaming laptop in its class. 0.88 inches thin, 6.5 pounds. Inside, you're going to find a very similar uh, i7 quad-core Haswell CPU. This one has a higher wattage for those, uh, for those professional applications that I'm about to talk about. Uh, it also has the same NVIDIA GTX 765 uh, GPU. Um, now, beyond that, and what I'm sure you're looking at now, is the, uh, the revolutionary Switchblade UI. And what that is, is it's uh, 10 OLED buttons and an LCD trackpad. So, you can customize all those buttons, you can customize all those trackpads, uh, or, or the trackpad. Um, when we announced this, uh, launched this late in 2011, it came with these 10 apps here, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Mac Recorder, Gmail, uh, Internet Browser, all sorts of very cool, very, you know, apps that you would not have to uh, leave your game to run. But just announced today, actually, are all new professional grade applications. When we announced this, you know, we knew it was going to be a big hit with gamers. We had no idea that creative professionals were going to love it as much uh, as they ended up doing. I mean, in terms of a high performance portable 17 inch machine, this is it. Um, and so with that today, we've announced or we've launched uh, all new professional grade applications. We have Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop, GIMP, Maya, UDK, um, all sorts of uh, applications that these creative professionals, whether they're doing video work or photo editing or you know, uh, software development, are, are going to want to use. Um, so we're really excited about that and uh, we actually have a program just for these creative professionals where if they funded a successful Kickstarter campaign or, um, or their software developers or whatever, they can apply at uh, www.razorzone.com slash creative pro uh, to get a steep discount off this laptop. So we really want to get it out there to the uh, creative professional community more so you know, they can enjoy all the features that the gamers are loving right now. 
to say the feedback from that must be phenomenal. No, I mean it's it's been it's been great. These new systems have been you know tremendous to work with, and we're really happy we have them. Okay. Well, how are you setting up with, with the two of them? I mean, are, are you dictating that uh, one will be for a particular type of person, one or the other? I mean, how, how are you balancing that and promoting the two? So, really, with the 14-inch laptop, I mean that's totally designed for gaming. You know, it, it's the world's thinnest gaming laptop, and it, it's just a sexy, sexy gaming laptop. The Blade Pro, as sexy as it is, you know, like I said, also comes with the, the, the bonus of, you know, being able to uh, work with creative professionals. It has a higher wattage CPU, so it's a little bit more powerful to run uh, stuff like photo editing, video rendering, what have you. So uh, that's, you know, and, and it's a gr still a great gaming machine. So uh, for those uh, creative professionals that want to work hard and play hard, that, that's the market we see for the Razer Blade Pro. That's not the only thing you got for us today, have you? There is yet more. So we shall pass ourselves over to uh, this side of the room. Sure. What, what are we looking at here? So this was announced earlier this year at the uh, Consumer Electronics Show. That's CES 2013. This is the Razer Edge. This is the world's um, first tablet computer designed for PC gamers. This actually won overall best of CES over more than 20,000 other products, which was you know, an amazing feat for a company like Razer with more, less than 500 people. Um, so a little bit about the Edge, it's the most powerful tablet in the world. It comes with an i5 or an i7 CPU and an NVIDIA GT640M uh, GPU. Uh, so I mean with that you're able to run you know, your favorite hardcore PC titles on the go. Um, and beyond that, it's not just, you know, it, it doesn't just run Windows RT. This is full Windows 8. Uh, so it's basically, a good way to look at it is a full-fledged gaming laptop that you just chop the keyboard right off. Um, and then it's not just a tablet, but it's a tablet, it's a PC, and it's two types of consoles. So right here we have it in gamepad, uh, in a uh, mobile console mode with the gamepad controller. Uh, so any Xbox enabled PC title, anything that supports X input, you'll be able to play with the, uh, the gamepad controller here. Uh, we don't, you know, we have also have a home console mode where you can dock it into a home docking station, has an HDMI out, has three additional USB 2.0 ports, uh, so you can hook it up to a larger display and enjoy your favorite PC games on a large screen. Uh, it's, you of course, got tablet mode for your t favorite uh, touch-based uh, titles like Civilization V or Angry Birds, what have you. Um, and upcoming in Q3, so right around the corner, we're going to have a keyboard dock. So you can plug it into a keyboard, take it with you, and it's uh, optimized for MMO games and uh, other titles that you, know, you need to have a keyboard to play. I'm still just picturing playing Angry, Bir Angry Birds on this. It just it seems a bit weird, I have to say. It's just the position between that and that. Well, this, this has a lot more power than you'll need to play, to play Angry Birds. Um, but, you know, it, it can certainly do that. Okay, well, can you run us through how the, the joysticks, what's the setup of the controls here? Definitely. So when we announced uh, the original concept project, uh, Project Fiona, back at a CES in 2012, uh, this was not a detachable controller and a tablet. It was just one piece and, you know, one controller all you know, melded together, so to speak. But now, you know, the tablet is able to pop out of this device, uh, out of the gamepad controller, and it's, you know, it's got typical Xbox controls. You have a, uh, you, know, you have a directional pad over here, uh, dual joysticks, uh, AX, BY over here. Up top, you've got three triggers on, uh, on each handle. So, you know, it's, it's designed to really look and feel like an Xbox-style controller. Uh, so, you know, that way you're able to play your favorite PC games, and it's not that big of a jump from um, playing it on a console device. You sort of talked to us about battery life as well. What's yeah. the state? Uh, so battery life on the Edge is uh, six to eight hours with a normal, typical tablet use. If you're going to be playing PC games, hardcore PC games, you're going to see one to two hours. Uh, we offer an extended battery pack that actually fits into the gamepad controller and will fit into the keyboard dock as well. That is designed to extend that battery life a bit more. All right, exciting in the US. What's the situation for Europe? Right. So. We're not selling in Europe just yet. Uh, we know we hope to. We definitely hope to in the future to support gamers worldwide. That's that's one of our that's one of our goals at Razer. Um, but in order to do that, uh, we you know we need production to catch up to a level where we're able to sell globally. Uh, right now, we're selling these in the U.S. and Canada about as fast as we can make them. And beyond that, you know we need to pay a certain level of attention to the customer itself uh, to make sure they are supported when, when they buy the Edge. Um, so in order to do that, we need to build up our own customer support function within, you know, each country within the EU in order to, you know, begin selling systems there. But that's something we hope to do, you know, in the near future. Are you looking to 
reiterate on this in the future? I mean, it, you've released it, it's cool and everything like that, but I mean, I guess you guys are always tinkering away with ideas. Well, uh, here at Razer, you know, we've, we've always taken a stance that if PC gamers demand it, we'll make it. Uh, back when this was a concept product, we asked PC gamers, do they want to see this come to market? And tens of thousands of them said that they did. So I don't anticipate this is going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, we're selling them as fast as we can make them. So um, to answer your question, uh, I'm sure you can draw your own conclusion. Well, what's, just sort of wrapping up then, what, what's the state of play with you guys now going forward? I mean, what's the plans? What have you got ready for us? Uh, in the future? Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't really say, but uh, you know, at Razer, we've been coming out with very, very cool stuff uh, for the past well, since we were founded in 1998, we're always, you know, looking to be the torchbearers when it comes to uh, innovation and design in the PC and peripheral space. So be on the lookout for us. I'm sure we'll have some cool stuff as 2013 wraps up and as we move into 2014. Listen, thank you very much indeed for taking thank the time you. to talk. Thank you. Enjoyed it very much.